Good day and I hope that you are all doing well. Let's start our revision on verb tenses. Verb tenses tell us when things happen. Events can happen in the past, present, or future. Let's start with the past tense. This is when an event has already happened. For example, I walked to the store to buy some candies yesterday. The verb walked is in the past. I add ed to show the past tense. Also, I have a clue or a keyword that shows the past tense, which is yesterday. The word yesterday helps me to know that this action happened in the past, so I have to add ed to the verb. Another example is Hamza called Adam in the playground last night. The word lost refers to the past. So any sentence that I have lost in it, I know that it happened already and I should add ed to the verb to show the past tense. For example, last week or last Monday, for example. For example, Muhammad dashed down the street with his dog one week ago. Dashed is a verb that happened in the past and I add ed to it. Ago is another clue word that shows the past tense. Let's move to the present tense. This is when an event is actually happening now. Rand walks to the store to buy some candies now. Rand is the subject, the person who's doing the action. Rand is one person, therefore I add S to the verb to show the present tense. Another clue word is now. Now shows that this action is actually happening, so I have to use the present tense. Muhammad plays with Mila in the playground today. Muhammad is the subject, he is one person, so I add S to the verb to show the present tense. Also, I have today as a clue cool word that refers to the present tense. Another example is Turkey and Anas read a story every day. Turkey and Anas is the subject. In here, I have two people who are doing the action. So I have read the verb without adding S because my subject refers to more than one. I have a clue word which is every day. Every day refers to the present tense. So whenever I see every day, every Monday, every week, or every vacation, I know that the tense of this sentence should be in the present. Let's move to the future. This is when an event has not taken place yet. That means it did not happen, but may happen in the um, close time, let's say next week or soon or later. For example, my family and I will travel to London next vacation. In here, I did not travel yet, but next vacation, which may happen next summer, next uh, spring, whatever, I have the action, travel, we have will. So whenever I have something that is happening in the future, I use the will before the verb. Another example, I will call my brother in the playground later. Will call refers to the future. I have here a clue word which is later, that means I did not call him yet, but I will do so later on. Ali will run down the street with his dog tomorrow. Will run refers to the future. Also, I have a clue word here which is tomorrow, which shows the future tense. Now let's, let's practice. Look at each of these sentences and decide what tense it has been written in. We played at the park last weekend. In here, I have a clue word 
Let's think about it. Lost. So lost refers to the past. I have the verb played with ed, which shows the past tense. Let's move on to the next sentence. Gina will rush to school tomorrow. I have the clue word tomorrow, which refers to future. Another word that helps me to figure out the future tense, which is will. The last example here, Rowan listens to music now. I have the clue word now, which refers to the present. Also, I know that Rowan is one person, therefore I add S to the verb to show the present tense. Let's look at this page. Verbs for present, past, and future. Mark the letter that tells the time of the verb in each sentence. Number one. The turtle tricked the spider. Is this sentence referring to now, past, or future? I have to figure out the verb before I decide. The turtle is the subject, is the person who is doing the action. I have trick is the action. We have ed added to the verb. Therefore, I choose past to name the tense that I have in this sentence. Number two, the spider will work tomorrow. I have here two clue words that help me to figure out the tense of this sentence. First word is well. The second one is tomorrow. As we agreed on, tomorrow refers to the future because the action did not happen yet. Number three, the turtle naps in the sun. Before I decide, I have to ask myself, who is doing the action? The turtle. What does the turtle do? The turtle naps. The verb naps has S added to the end. Therefore, it refers to now. Number four. The spider spins a web. In here, the spider is the subject. What does the spider do? Spins. Spends is the action. I have S added to the verb. So the action happens now. Number five. The turtle will eat the fish later. In this sentence, I have two clue words that help me to figure out the tense of this sentence. The first word is will. The second one is later. Both of them refer to the future. Therefore, the tense of this sentence is the future. Number six. The spider waved goodbye. Wave is the past tense of wave. I have ed added to this word. Therefore, I use past. Let's move on to another page. Mark the letter of the verb that completes each sentence. In this exercise, I have to find the clue words that help me to understand or to choose which verb completes each sentence. Number one, Rosa mm, tomatoes yesterday. Yesterday is a clue word that refers to past. As we agree that when I have a sentence in the past, I should add ed to the verb. Therefore, I have to choose picked with ed to complete the sentence. Number two, Blanca, mm, a basket, now. I have the clue word now, which refers to present tense. As we agreed on, the present 
tense. If um, the present tense has s added to the verb when the subject is one person. Blanca is one person. Therefore, I use fills. Number three. Rosa mm, at her garden tomorrow. Tomorrow is a clue word that refers to future. When I have a sentence in the future, I add will to the word to show the future tense. So I say, Rosa will look at her garden tomorrow. Number four, Blanca mm, to her house now. Now is a clue word that refers to the present tense. Blanca is one person, therefore I have to add S to the verb to show the present tense. So I choose walks. Rosa, in number five, Rosa mm, on the door last night. Last night is a clue word or a key word that refers to the past. When I have action that happened in the past, I add ed to it. So I choose Rosa knocked on the door last night. Number six, blank on mm, the vegetables now. Now is a clue or a key word that refers to the present tense. Since I have a blank, a one person doing the action, I add S to the verb to show the present tense, so I choose once.